All right, let's continue our discussion on SVMs. So here we are going to formally introduce a large margin linear classifiers. So SVMs, the linear form, is also called the large margin linear classifiers. And we'll see why just in about a minute. So we have to find the best line that separates these points. And how did we, how do we find this best line? For that, we are introducing a concept called the margin. And we are saying that the linear discriminant function or the classifier with the maximum margin is the best linear classifier. So to define this margin, we are going to start at the line here, which is our classifier. So this is, this is our classifier. We are going to start here and we are going to increase the boundary. We are going to keep increasing the boundary till we hit a data point on either side. So here, we the, the boundary hits these two points. And on the other side, the boundary hits the white point. So we are going to keep increasing the boundary until it hits these points. And for all our contenders, all the other lines, so we had a bunch of other lines in the previous video, right? So for each and every line that we can think of, we are going to keep doing this. We are going to measure this margin. And then we are going to pick the classifier which has the maximum margin, which maximizes this margin, right? And then we are saying that that line separates these two sets of points the best and that should be the line that we will choose um, to use at test time. Now, why is this the best? Why is having, the, having a higher margin or the maximum margin in this case, why is that the best? Now think about this. The larger the margin, the better the generalization, right? So you have to generalize to new data points at test time. So what, a, what if there is a data point that occurs at a test time that could be closer to the line, right? It could be in the safe zone. It could be here. And if you maximize the margin, there is greater chance of your classifier getting this, these points right. Suppose you pick this line instead. It is really close to the margin. And it could misclassify a data point which is closer to the black line which is your best linear classifier but this line the other line could miss that so that's why at test time you want the maximum margin so that your data points that you see at test time um, could be classified correctly to the best of your ability so because you can only learn the best classifier by looking at the training data and that is what we aim to do with SVMs and with large margin linear classifier. Okay so now formally defining um, this we have two sets of points and here we are going to retain our um, notation from neural networks where we uh, for binary classes we have y value positive one or negative one and then we have a region that corresponding to the line uh, either side of the line uh, for classifying these this positive and negative region so we have w transpose xi plus b greater than or equal to 1 for the positive class, w transpose x plus b less than or equal to minus 1 for the negative class. So this, these, these are nothing but both sides of the line. 
right? So you have the line equation and then you have each side uh, corresponding to uh, one class of points. Now, first we will set out to derive an algebraic expression for the width of the margin. So to maximize the margin, we first have to have an expression for the margin, right? So that's when we can maximize the margin and find the line that corresponding to that. 